Hello and howdy, my friends. Habage here, and glad you joined me. We've got another exciting Buildorific episode in the barn coming up, I hope. Well, you never know. Uh, as always, we're playing Hardcore Vanilla Minecraft, Java version, and um, Minecraft can kind of push you off in unexpected directions sometimes, and as always, our top priority is not dying. Uh, we do don't want to lose the world, but we do want to build a barn. And uh, we're going to try to balance those things out. So, at the end of the last episode, we had just wrapped up finishing uh, uh, this first outer course. And let's, uh, let's pop down here. I don't know. Oh, we're about into evening. Uh, so, we've got two actual sub-layers going on in our barn. Excuse me, the first down in the, the basement is where we started, just kind of storage and uh, the foundation of what's our large building here. The next up is our um, split level, sort of below ground, uh, sort of just the foundation. And as you can see here uh, on this corner, the ground is going to actually, we're going to probably do that next. The ground is going to rise up to meet that corner of the barn kind of build it into the hill a little bit and that's going to facilitate how our horses get in and out of the barn uh horses and, and other um draft animals i guess i don't know it, uh, maybe more familiar folk can help me out with my understanding of that because i just don't know um Draft is the term draft animals reserved solely for those that like pull, you know, uh, pull wagons or carts or plows or that kind of thing, or are like riding horses draft animals as well. I don't know. Um, I'm familiar with the term, uh, you know, and I know draft horses are, are a thing, um, but it's as far as my knowledge goes, it's a little, a little left to be desired all right what we're here for at the moment is uh oh um take that all right look dude you're not even a big guy what are you doing um you're a big guy but as soon as, as long as we're getting one let's get them both we haven't had any combat here, and we're just kind of putzing around. So, question becomes, do we have any other mossy cobble? kind of like to make use of a bit of that. And, uh... How does that, uh... So that leave us. So let's put the slime away and then go back upstairs. I think we do have some cobble in the chests up there. And we may have just uh, tipped the remainder of that for our um, nether box. Because uh, we do use a lot of that for our... I think it's the railings on our pathways through the nether. But yeah, this that should be plenty for our purposes, and we have dirt outside. Let's sleep in this bed. I don't think it's uh, going to play us a, a whole lot of difference. Um, we're carrying the bed, and we'll probably be more inclined to use it. So uh, I think there's going to be... Pretty good chances if we ever, you know, go to the end and teleport back or anything like that, that the the uh, bed we had most recently used would be gone. Um, yeah, that's uh, kind of where things are. All right, so we're going to go outside, and let's just grab some dirt, which I think we have some under this tree. Ooh, we should grab a bunch of dirt. Don't you get all spidery, spider. Uh, yeah, let's just clean this up over here. Do 
did you hit me? Or did you just land on me? I'm glad you want to ha hang out while we fill in the hole. Um, reminds me, y'all. I, I don't know if everybody here is old enough to remember uh, the capture of Saddam Hussein. Um, and at the time, the description was that he had been hiding out in a spider hole. So now you are hitting me. What? Very temperamental little spider. And then he runs away. It's just weird. He wasn't happy that I filled in his hole. Or that I'm talking about spider holes. He's like, well, listen, don't you disparage. Um, so this may... May change a bit. But what we... Are going to want to do... Is get... This area, at least. I want to have both of these kind of scattered throughout. Mm. There, and then, oh, I'm, I'm forgetting that we're kind of stuck here. Uh, maybe something like that. And there. Now, I don't know, here's where our dirt comes in. And uh, what we certainly want is that up to here, I hope, we can kind of measure this out. Two, three, four, five. We have eight. So the central two are here. Good. And here. Let's mark those with the shovel. Because that's where we're going to come in and out of the barn. All right? Now, I was kind of thinking... I think, I think we want to keep it... That this kind of retaining wall... Slopes up and around. And I... Eventually, we may do something into steps or slabs or something that make it easy to come up and down there. But for now, I I think we can kind of leave it. But I, I wanted to get this up here for two reasons. Uh, the one being that... <laughs> I've kind of seen this hill as always being a uh, more level side. And, of course, we won't see that from the, the deal here. We're going to have to do something with a, a retaining wall or some uh, terraced beds or something coming back in, too. I don't know. We'll figure that out again. That That's kind of a later landscaping decorative phase uh, but for now I think that was the most important bit was we had to get this established and what I'm thinking here is that we may even go one wider. If we go there 
and there. And here and here. And then these need to match up. And then here. And here. Now we can start regaining our inventory a little bit. And as I said at one point, uh, the I think for a moment we're going to focus on the outside. We'll see. It, it Maybe if we can minimize distractions and make some dis some stylistic decisions, we may have this. fairly good to go before we finish up this episode. I think this will be the end of my... Oop. Oh, 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 oh. And of course we're short on these, so I gotta go get them. And then I gotta go back around. Anything else falling? We could have used our doors gone up and around. Uh, rather than getting fancy here, let's just do these. The quartz is, is going to be our limiting factor probably on this episode, although we're not using a ton of it at this height. Um, the main eater of our quartz is going to be the um, the roof, which we're going to use quartz for as well. Um, being that in uh, at least modern barn roofs, um, I think, I, I'm guessing it's like aluminum or something, but they're, uh, they're not aluminum, uh, Oh, maybe aluminum, uh, but the the barn roofs that I saw on the red barns and all that were a uh, kind of metallic white, or almost silvery gray. Um, not you know, not like the shiny aluminum that you might see on like a modern silo or something. Um, So they, they appear quite whitish, and I think that will align well with what I've got planned here. <laughs> I, see these, I see these, and in the distance they look like little dropped blocks. So they kind of uh, worry there. Now, I think... For like our door height, we're gonna be at four. Oop. And I think we can do one more and then we'll sleep. No need to push any of this. It's such a welcome chance to have sleeping. What I'll have to adapt to is um how long you have to wait until you can actually sleep. We did a fair job there. Just a little sip of old coffee. I don't have much left in my mug here. Uh, let's get this remaining bit of this side. If I can ride the scaffold. 
So I think like our doors and the door mouths are gonna come up to here. How does this seem? I don't know if that's faster or slower. Oop. I think it's pretty neck and neck until until we do the classic goof. confident there I could use the <laughs> scaffold sighting as a stop sign all right so that'll be halfway now if there's a lot of talk at least in the circles I listen to of <sighs> the desire for vertical slabs, right? That you could like stick onto this face and instead of being flat out there, you could partially fill this block vertically, right? So it would come out, you know, if you're looking ahead, it would come out to about where the torch is, but just stick to the side there. For making spherical builds and things like that, it would be huge. Um, flat out, no questions asked. Um, that would be a massive addition to the game. Um, I'm sure it is enough of a development challenge that there nobody's in a real hurry to uh, to just go out and take that on. But you would have seen said the same thing probably about um, extending the world height and some of those kind of things. So if we had vertical half slabs. I would want to float these white doors out on the outside, right? In in the real world, they should be sliding doors that stick out on the outside of the barn. So really, there should be red wall here behind them. Um, there's just not a, a good means to accomplish that. So now we've kind of messed up our rotation here. Um... But we'll make do, and I think from a distance, that's that's going to make good sense. At least in my mind, it will. That we've got open doors uh, to the interior of a barn. And I don't know how historically accurate in, you know, the, the kind of modern barn that I'm portraying here this is or not the big open doors on the sides obviously they're about access right and riding a horse we want to be three tall anyway but i don't want to be brushing my head anyway so we're going to make them four tall this is a big area that we're going to be in and then this is going to be our um our kind of heights above some point here we'll have to make a new batch of planks like right now I can actually make two uh, but this is uh Well, uh, at least my understanding of kind of old school barns is that you would have those wide open doors on either side of a barn uh, actually to facilitate the threshing of grain. And for anybody who's not familiar with that, um, so you got like wheat, right? I think. Most of us are familiar with wheat. You may not be uh, a big fan of the glutens these days, but uh, you know what it kind of looks like, right? It grows like a, a stalk of wild grass, right? Hopefully your lawn doesn't sprout seeds in it. That means it's kind of gone too long without mowing, but 
the idea is still there. You want to... Uh, when a, a wheat plant grows on the bigger scale, um, the reason we've harvested wheat as a humans for 6,000 years uh, <laughs> in a an organized sense, maybe longer than that, uh, I'm not sure uh, just how far back the uh, evidence in kind of Samaria and the, the Mesopotamian Fertile Crescent goes, um, but the getting those little grains, the seeds of the wheat plant are, are why we're growing them and the heads of grain. But when you harvest it, right, you're, you're going through with the old traditional sickle and you're cutting that wheat. Um, so these are, these are largely going to stay open. And that's what I was talking about here. We may, as just a concession to safety and reality, have to uh, put some gates on this side. Um, and what we may do, since this is an open area, we may actually pull that in, although that would still creeper it. And that's what I was talking about here. When we've done a bit more with the landscaping, we'll kind of see if we're going to have like a fenced in yard around here. Um, that would kind of keep that danger down. Um, I think this little peak may go once our, our barn is up or at least around the edge. I don't know. I, I kind of like having it. It's a natural feature that was here along with this tree. So we may keep them, but we may make, um, kind of a, a main horse road uh, come out this way. Uh, so we haven't done anything with riding horses or transportation that way, and it's slower by far than like our, our nether gateway. Um, but in the concessions, or, you know, the, the, I guess, opportunity that Minecraft gives us to have this world, part of the richness of that is making roads and, and horses and and things um, to interact with. So let's get another another chest out because we have not yet designated anything for our acacia, and we'll probably put the quartz in here too, since those are all external things. Um, these are kind of external as well, but in a different sense. I want to grab back... How do we own... I thought we had two stacks of oak logs. Nope. Never mind then. Uh, we were carrying around that clock as a kind of watch, and we may need to bring one down here because this is a problem. I assume it's evening. <laughs> it's kind of tough to tell. Can we go chaw on some, some grass seed as we're going? Yeah, so we've got a little bit of time left. Uh, let's run for oak logs while we can. And that'll be fun. We can jump out of the barn, maybe put some hay down there to land on. Um, uh... Oh yeah, the, the wheat and threshing and all that. So anyway, back in the day, the way that you harvested wheat or oats or anything else like that was you, barley, um, you brought a sickle, think, you know, the thing the Grim Reaper holds in his hand, um, long curved blade uh, on a kind of a rake handle with some opposable handles on it, and uh, you would swing that through the field and uh, that would break the uh, stalks of wheat, and then they would come along and make those into the bundles of uh, lots of stalks of wheat, and then those would be gathered into the rudimentary haystacks to keep the, 
the grain itself dry and they would be fashioned in such a way that um, the outside would shed the water nothing would get in between and that would be where the the grain would dry so the uh, uh, the individual stalks and all that would uh, uh, mature mature kind of prepare to be processed and harvested. Let's make our crossing here in the basement and then we'll sleep and exit the barn or rise up in the barn. In fact, let's just sleep so there's less time for mobs to hang out. So these barn doors were designed because once all your wheat or oats or barley or any of those have dried out, then those heads are, are ready to break. And you do that by threshing the grain, which before the uh, invention of machines to do that for you, uh, basically meant taking all those stalks and beating the heck out of them. Um, and, and then the as you're hitting them or beating them with sticks or however the particular method is that you're using is going, uh, they are the, the pieces of the stalks and everything else, the chaff or chaff, uh, C H A F F I think chaff, um, which has two meanings nowadays. If you've played any like, air combat games or anything or familiar with um, aviation and, and tactics and stuff like that. Um, is that right height? Everything look good there? It's just uh, connect these to make sure. Alright, so a little tall. Um, but that's okay, because remember, when we're riding our horse, our head is going to be up here, and then we'll have a little, a little bit of height. Oh, let's not use the axe there, huh? Save a few headaches. Okay. Torches come up. So now, one, two, three, four, five, plop. One, two, three, four, five. So chaff is real light. Once, uh, oh, 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 is that right? Right. Uh, it's real light when it's been dried. Uh, you know, think hay fever, right? <laughs> and as you're hitting these with kind of like broomy looking uh, sticks, gleaning, um, threshing, you're separating, you know, the, the old phrase, separating the wheat from the chaff. Um, that's what you're doing. You're, you're pulling out those Uh, good particles, oops, or, or letting them as the heavier ones settle to the floor. And these big doors were designed in old threshing barns to uh, allow wind flow or, or a slight breeze. It didn't need to be a strong wind or anything. So you do all that in this open area of a threshing barn and the breeze blowing through would pull all that chaff out of the way and leave you with your sorted um, wheat or grain uh, there on the floor. That's at least my impression of how all that process worked. And that's 
at least my understanding of why you usually have these parallel doors on barns, even if, like this one, one's doesn't make a lot of sense, right? It's it's airflow and ventilation, which had a very specific purpose uh, back when uh, that was being used as such. I really kind of thought to come up here and maybe we can do this along here. Very chill. So I I don't know. I'm pretty sure, you know, any barn within the last couple hundred years hasn't needed that. People don't um, manually thresh their grain anymore. That's kind of just a built-in thing. And uh, even with... Uh, even before there was a lot of real uh, electricity and such, you had means to kind of mechanize that. I, I think, I, again, uh, no expert, but I'm talking on YouTube, so I must be, right? Very log heavy intensive for this section. We may have to go get more oak trees before too much more is said and done. And what we'll very much need to do is shift up our uh, little lightning rods there. Big question, can we make it? So yeah, torches and, and lightning rods are just going to have to work kind of in unison and rise up as this thing goes. So I was checking out a stream. Somebody that uh, had just uh, recently commented. And uh, thank you for your comments, everybody. I appreciate that. Um, so I, as I often do, I was like, oh, cool. New, uh, new content. Let's go check that out. Um, and... Missed a couple. It was a series on... It was described as Alpha... Ooh, I think the, the version said 1.2.6. And I, I don't know... It's been a, a long time. And I never... I, I'm not uh, pretending to do something I didn't hear. I never played... Um, Alpha. I never played beta. I was uh, the game was fully released when I started playing, and I 
guess we can get those through. It, they're going to be hidden, so it doesn't matter too much, but for continuity's sake, I guess. Um, but yeah, that, this was... Uh, reported as uh, Alpha 126 or something like that, 1.26. And I don't think this person had, it was, I, I don't know, maybe they were, maybe they weren't. Like I said, first time I'd, uh, I'd checked out any of the content. It just happened to be the most recent video. Um, but, you know, I was like, hey, this is cool. And I was, uh, at first, I was like, I don't know what's going on here, but uh, clearly, this is like some mod that's not, not true to form. I'm watching, and there's... <laughs> the one thing that really got me was... Uh... I'll just go ahead and pick... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Maybe I will pick these up. Dun -dun -dun. As I go here waiting for sleep... sleep as quickly as possible since we don't have good lighting at either level now. So this is going to be our horse level. Uh, so what I was talking about was uh, this alpha, and I'm like watching it going like I'm pretty sure I remember when deserts were coming in, but uh, you know, here here's the the gameplay going on, and the guys are running past uh, past cacti next to his base, and I'm like, uh, I don't know, if this is right, and it was it, this is a little more nitpicky, you know, he, he's saying it's hardcore, and I was like, well, what? There's no marks on the hearts, and it. I don't know. I don't know what, if any, modifications have been made. I think this is an ongoing series. So if you're watching, uh, person whose name I can't remember. I'm sorry. Um, check the check the recent comments. I'll uh, I'll try to throw it in there. Um, start with an S, I think, or like an E S or something. Uh, I don't know. Sorry. Um, but it was cool, and I was way off. I went and checked uh, some notes on Alpha. While deserts were not in um, in Alpha, there were cacti on beaches, and biomes as such were not a a deal yet. But uh, the terrain um, did differ, and so you you would get these beaches on the edges of uh, of oceans and you know whatnot uh, I don't know I don't know how much rivers or any of that uh, really came into play um, but where you had a beach you could have cacti and uh, so cacti go way back in this game and that was something I, I wasn't too aware of as far as the hardcore uh, I'm assuming that was just being played in hard mode uh, because that was the only way to play hardcore back then. You didn't have uh, have a uh, an actual game mode, and I don't believe you even had survival mode back then. I think it was all just you know what we'd now call survival. And so I'm assuming that was survival at the hardest level of difficulty, um, would be my guess. All right, so now, to return here, uh, very cool. Uh, again, I'll try to remember and comment with a, a link to that YouTuber. Um, if you're checking this out, YouTube guy that, uh, that I'm talking about, you know who you are. Um, hit me up. Um, or, or feel free to jump in there if it's anybody else. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll just call you out in the comments and say no. Let's better luck next time, kind of deal. 
we want those and no these. We are going to have to figure out our up and down system here. Uh, so I'm kind of doing this backwards. Uh, forgive the lack of suspense building here. Uh, but I kind of want the birch. And I wish this it gets very shadowed. Um... I think that may work. We'll see. Let's see how far we get with these. Seems like a shame to be building a uh, birch. <laughs> Fences when we have so much oak, but I I want the contrast, and that's what I was saying. It's a little bit of a shame that they seem to reflect the shadow. You know, if they were popping with that that real whitish color, I would have been happier because I really was hoping these would kind of stand out. Um, is what it is, though. This is going to work out just perfect, though. That's kind of cool. It's faded that way. Alright, so <laughs> there are our stalls. Now we just have to decide how do we want to divide them. Um... between our horses and kind of thinking we go with oak planks here just to keep uh, Keep our variety up. I like this. Um, I like having the variety. In some ways, I I think we're already in into this uh, too far to want to change it. But if there's ever another world where we're doing a similar barn, or if we're doing a you know remote different base or something like that, but still want to do something with horses, um, it would be interesting to swap to leave bark, keep those uh, barked beams, and then use the the log pieces there.
All right, so we have stalls on our horse level. This is where we still need uh, at least a temporary... of safety and we've got to do temporary lights here right have we put up the lightning rounds on top too it's another thing we gotta not forget about and then we'll have to check the time see how we're doing here this goes pretty quick Those don't like the idea of torches in a barn. That would be, uh, I think, very problematic. But I'm thinking maybe lanterns again. Um, I'd like to use some candles for uh, a little bit of lighting, but obviously that's not a not a barn thing either. Then what do we have here, here, there, and we will do some here, some here, sleep. Forty-seven. All right, this is good. Let's uh, back down to this side. I think this is east. Yep. Okay. Next up, we need. Ooh. That's going to make things interesting. Uh, whatever. Lightning rods. End up with three. That's interesting. Okay, now our next bit <laughs> can we go down the scaffolding, please? Next bit, we're going to come in here, take some of these, and see if they do anything for us in terms of on the tops of the stalls. Um, I'm kind of thinking above. I'm thinking like, you know, you see like a horse race on TV, the Preakness or something, and they go into the barns and all that, and... Stalls just kind of have decorative stuff, and again, this isn't this isn't prisony or uh, designed to keep the horses from interacting. This is just kind of grill work, you know, like a, a wrought iron type. Decorative.
Not bad. Then... Sixty-four. Oh, ooh! Is that all we got? Uh oh. Well, we do have the ones that we planted, right? And I know we're close now. Um. Yeah, this isn't even gonna. Get close to what we need. So let's use the rest of our time to come down here and we'll go get all these birch trees and then we'll call it call it good. I was hoping to get the ceiling slash floor oops uh put down here at the end of this episode, but I think that this will eat up whatever remaining time we have and probably take us over because that's how it always seems to go and that is going to do it for me today um because i i think we're you can't even see it from the hasn't quite risen above the uh the height of the trees here them um yeah I, I think that's getting pretty imposing so in our next deal we're going to come back and um, put in this floor that'll go up so that's another another level up and then on this level just so you guys that are hanging out till the end of this one get a little sneak peek so on this level the floor is going to get these outer edges and over the stalls but everything in these middle rows uh, it's going to be open. This is going to be our, our lofted floor. So we'll have another floor, and then it'll go up another four or so above that. So think five more, um, as much height as we've got here going up. On this one, uh, probably nothing here, but on the far side, we'll do an open door as well. A big, and that would be the kind of hay lofting area Um up above where um you know you would be doing your storage uh for the winter months of all, all your fodder for all the the animals and all the feed um and then at the top of that above our our head height there is where the roof is going to start coming from these sides and going up but we'll then still have an alcove um up at the very top where that roof peaks and um, whether we do any kind of additional um, loft level up there, I, I'm not sure. I, that piece, I haven't quite determined if it would be cooler to see the 
the roof coming all the way up or if over the central section up higher we have one very top loft attic kind of deal but um for folks that may have may have seen that you know these these sides are going to be fairly steep roofed and then the middle is where it kind of it kind of broadens out um just a little bit so that's where we'll get stopped and need to go to the nether and get a bunch of quartz and this build is going to turn into um exploration and gathering again as we uh as we mine nether quartz a whole bunch um but i think we do have probably one more episode getting uh getting those sides up and this next lofted layer in place um we'll see uh how much of this birch uh that those planks cover should be enough because we don't have these central ones to do we've also got to do lighting um I don't think I'm going to worry about like other decoration items. I've got some thoughts for inside of here and, and how all that goes. Um, that we'll just uh, kind of keep looking at. But let me know you guys' thoughts. What what are you thinking? Anything that you would, uh, you would tweak? Um, do you think that the outside uh, is starting off to look good? Or... Is that weird? I, I know it's it's the off coloring of the the acacia, and I think in time it's gonna be fine. Um, it's just a matter of kind of pulling that all together that we we go, and also I may. We may ultimately swap those out and bring that all the way down as white. I um, think that would be a little uh, outside of kind of the, the typical as what really happens. But because, again, this white is usually wood. You know, that's just painting on a, an old traditional barn. Um, right, we'll see. Uh, see how it evolves. We got a lot of time to to work on this and see as it builds up how how it's coming together. Um, but you guys know, what, fifty eight fifteen. Hey, perfect timing. Um, huge progress in the last couple episodes. Uh, the barn is beginning to come together. I I love what we've got for our milk cows and our pigs and sheep down below. Um, we'll next have our uh, our horse level kind of finished up and then turn our attention to our hayloft. Uh, that's going to kind of get us up to the top of our, just our, our rigid structure. And then, as I said, once, once we then start defining our roof line, um, we'll have to have to go take some trips to get materials and supplies and all that, but, uh, good progress. I'm glad you guys have been along for the ride. Um, uh, let me know what you're thinking. Comments are always appreciated. And uh, we'll see you back here for the next one. See you guys.